Hi guys, welcome back. England, Italy now. Yeah. I really enjoyed this game as well. Yeah, I did. Um, normally when it's Italy games, it's a bit of a shot to nothing, as in, you know, if you play poorly and win, you get criticised. If you play okay and win, you get criticised. Yeah. But the difference here for me was Italy looked like they belonged. I think, yeah. And made the game. And I'm, again, really impressed with Conroe Shea. Mm -hmm. Giving the chance to some youngsters, see what they can do. Yeah. Realistically, they were never going to win that game against England. No, they, they were and close. They were they close, were close. At times. And I think that's the positive. You give those youngsters the opportunity and say, right, you go and play. That shirt is yours. Yeah. And I think they stepped up. Yeah, no, you had like uh, Negri in the back row, looked very impressive. Yeah. Uh, Bonnie at 13 was super strong. I was going to say both centres, I thought, both for me, centers, looked really good. Yeah. Full back looked class. He's, really he's a nippy good little step. geezer, yeah, really I like him as step. well. Adds balance. Uh, Tommaso Allen at yeah. 10 looked very comfortable, very skillful, moved the ball well. Yeah, and both nines, I yeah. thought, looked quite. It looked very comfortable actually for most yeah, of that game. Absolutely, and it just I like and I like the balance. Yeah, they they were physical, but they moved the ball out the back. They moved the ball wide. They worked it very well for their scores, which yeah, were yeah, well yeah. constructed, skillful tries. Yeah, um, I think for me that 2019 will be the real test. Mm -hmm. That he's made some changes with how Italian rugby structured club at a club level. Yeah, and it's starting to have that permutation through the international scene. I think this year they'll find it tough. Mm -hmm. But they'll play well. Um, yep. I think next year will be the, the real tester for his, for the, how the coaching's been. But it's the first time in the Six Nations video I've said, right, Italy look like they belong. I see progress. And um, yeah, and the score doesn't look great, but they did run into an England side who are firing and all cylinders. Yeah, and I said that. I don't think the scoreline was necessarily reflective of how well Itali Italy played. If they played somewhere, if they played France, maybe it could have been a really close game. But yeah, exactly. We'll see how they go and they develop. I, I think, think they'd have snuck a win against Scotland playing like that. I think anyone <laughs> would have beaten Scotland playing like that, to yeah. be honest. Um, okay, anyway, right, so England. Yep. Yeah, I was really impressed. Who did you uh, who did you like there, Al? Uh, Watson, I thought, had a, had a blinder. Mm -hmm. um, actually, and Johnny May, to be fair, on the other wing. I thought both wingers played well. Mm -hmm. Farrell and Ford, I thought, just they just looked to be on a whole nother level in terms of they just look to be they reading are, each other's minds. Well the thing is they're, they're so comfortable playing with each other yeah. now, it's brilliant. Yeah. And also something I've been looking for, Owen Farrell's running game has been average. Mm. And Eddie Jones has told him you need to improve your speed, your running yeah. game. And you saw that, he hit two fantastic lines, one for a straight try, yeah. one to set up forward. Yeah. And that's something that Farrell hasn't had in this game so much. No, I agree. So that was brilliant. Uh, I thought Sam Simmons played well. Mm -hmm. um, again, I'm not I think he'll play as an eight, but when Billy's back, I think he'll play the last twenty, and I think Eddie will go to to Billy Vanapola okay. and go, "You play sixty, mm -hmm. come off, blown out your ass, and then we'll bring Sam Simmons on." And I think they were saying on commentary he just offers something completely different, and I think that's why when Wales play, defences get taken aback by how quick Justin Tipperick is, yeah. and that's why he scores so many tries. I think yeah. Sam Simmons will be uh, very similar to His Tipperick acceleration over the first 10 metres is second to none, probably oh, of any player, yeah. you know, yeah. not just a forward. Um, what was interesting about Sam Simmons is they didn't play him as an eight particularly. Yeah, he packed no. down in the scrum at eight, but he didn't take the ball off the base of the scrum at all. No. They didn't really use him in the tight channels much, and yeah. they didn't need to because they had plenty of heft there. Yeah. And then as the, and in the beginning of the game, he was essentially a tackling machine. Mm. Like he made loads of tackles, and I saw some double tackles. Yeah. And what I mean is he makes a tackle, the guy offloads it, and he tackles the guy he offloaded yeah, yeah. to. And that's like having two players on the pitch. Yeah, exactly. I think he's a bit like an Otoje in that role, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Like a bit of a workhorse, kind of does all the dirty yeah. stuff. He's and, not... Yeah. yeah. And then when the game broke down, then his wider channel started paying dividends, yeah, scored yeah. one try... Set up another brilliant one for now. I'm really pleased they kept him on for the full 80 yeah. as well, actually. I think that'll do his confidence a world Absolutely. of good. And it says to him, look, you're our guy. Yeah. For, I, I, for the next few games, you are yeah. our guy. In the future, I, I actually don't see him really playing eight because you've got uh, Hughes coming back as well as Yeah. Um, I really think Brad Shields is going to be in and about, actually, when he comes okay. over. Six and eight cover, that sort of thing. Yeah. That's a different subject. Mm. So I, I actually see him contesting that seven shirt if he's going to start. Yeah, and I think he's got a better technique for tackling than Underhill does. Well, he's not as destructive as Underhill, yeah. Yeah. but I think is a workhorse and yeah. actually value for money mm -hmm. in, the, in that term. I think you'll get more from Simmons. Yeah, the problem will be that if he's not playing regularly seven for Exeter, his positioning isn't going to be as good as maybe Underhill is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. 
But um, anyway, uh, another yeah. player I'd like to bring up, though, is Mike Brown. Right from the beginning, he looked off the pace. He looked a bit slow, he looked a bit sluggish. Is it all down to him not playing for ages? But then some other players were like that. So I don't know. What do yeah, you I mean, I I put a cross next to him because I think cross. he slightly played his way out of that 15 shirt for the mm. Six Nations. Maybe. For me, I think Jack Noll came on and made a massive impact when he came on. Looked really sharp, really mm -hmm. good with ball in hand and actually defensively looked solid. Yep. Anthony Watson looked comfortable at fullback when he went and played there for the last 20. Yep. Johnny May looked safe as houses under the high ball. He's Had a couple of moments. He's, he's improved but his high ball work. I, Mike Definitely. Brown's a question mark next week for me. He'll well, he'll go with yeah. him because it's Wales and he wants that reckon, security okay, at fullback. Maybe, I think, maybe. but I don't know if he will actually. But um, what yeah. Mike Brown got has got is lots of money in the bank. Yeah, he does. Probably literally, but actually, yeah. with England, he has proven he's a class player mm. when fit. Yeah. So will he be given the chance? I don't know, but he just didn't look he didn't look right there. Surrounded by the athletes of Watson and May, it looked yeah. like. What are you doing there? Yeah, exactly. I think that's a big question mark. If it is still a bit of a hangover from this injury he had yep. going into it, is he a risk worth taking? Yeah. At the moment, I think you need a bit more creativity. Mm. Maybe, maybe. It would be interesting, that one. Mm. Teo, I thought, did really well. Yep. Again, I could see he was short of match fitness, yeah. but he did what England were missing, i.e. hit lines, yeah. take the ball up and be a great decoy. <laughs> and actually, Joseph coming on and making the Ooh. impact he made when he came on, doesn't that show that actually for next week playing against Wales, that's mm -hmm. a decent game plan? Definitely. Uh, uh, bringing actually, Joseph, the Joseph on in the last 20 is, is terrifying for the opposition. Yeah. Absolutely terrifying. And he looks like he was a man playing, wanting his shirt back yeah. as well, which is great. Yeah. Competition for places is what you need, isn't it? I was actually quite impressed with England's scrum. Yep. I thought it was really, really strong. There were a few question marks over Vunipola, but he had a great game. Yep. And also Hartley, I thought, had a really good game. Yeah, he did. He played really well. He carried the ball better than I've seen before. Yep. Okay. He had run some good decoys. His set piece was exemplary. Yep. Um, I can't see George is, is not getting in over him at the moment. And uh, Jamie George didn't make the impact. And he didn't have a great impact, no. 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 So of, of the reason why he's on the bench, mm. I don't think he made the impact he probably should have done. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I still don't quite like the balance of England's back five. It doesn't look quite right, to be mm. honest. Launch with Toji and Lords and Rob Shaw. Yeah, is there enough variety there? I don't know. With Simmons at eight, it's a bit of a compromise essentially. Yeah, he's yeah. probably going to be this championship. Yeah, and I, what, I mean, I was thinking about it when I sat watching the game, and I was thinking, well, if they're if they're interesting, they're short of an eight, and they're saying how much Courtney Laws is ball handling skills. Yeah, and how much of he's got better around the park, why don't they look at playing him at eight and playing Simmons at six? I, I don't know, he's never done it before, I think. Is he more of a ball, is he more of a potential, because he's, he's come on so much in a short space of time at Courtney Laws, is that something that you could look at as a stopgap? I would say no, but I can imagine, I can feel the comments coming. Yeah. Um, anyway. For me, it's just something I was interested in. He's, he's big, he's a decent ball carrier, yeah. he's good defensively, quick around the park. I don't see it. I don't see it. If anything, I would, I would take Launchbury out and have a Toji and Laws in the second row yeah. Yeah, and yeah, have yeah. Robshaw back to six. I think that would be a better... Uh, With who would you have at seven? Well, you'd have Underhill starting okay. at seven, okay. potentially. Yeah. Anyway, um, quickly I want to talk about the tries, because England's creativity in the back line was awesome. Okay. Absolutely yeah. top, top. Can't tell you how good it was. Yeah. Um, I love the loop, uh, the loop around with um, May and Ford when Ford yeah. came with May mm. to create two extra men. Yeah, that, was, yeah, yeah. that was class. Yeah. Um, when May worked off his wing again and used his gas to make a break, then gave to Watson, who again used his stop-go gas to get away with a fantastic yeah, finish. Yeah, yeah. That shows you the importance of pace in the team. Yeah. Uh, and then Farrell's lines again were But fantastic. also think, two years ago, Johnny May would have gone on his own for that try. He mm -hmm. wouldn't have held the last man draw and give yeah. two years ago. Johnny May is still prone to a, a slight error. He took a guy out yeah, in the air, yeah. which was silly, but yeah. he's working on his game really, yeah, really yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and we, when we saw, we saw England train last year, and he is just electric. Yeah. I mean, he is so quick. Yeah. Quicker than anybody else, I think, yeah. in that squad. Yeah, oh, well, absolutely. Um, Okay, so England-Wales next week, that's going to be an absolute cracker, can't yeah. wait for that, I'll be pretty nervous I think for I that I think one. for me, England defensively looked frail at points, and I think yeah. if the Welsh backline performed like they did against Scotland, I think England, England are going to be in trouble at, at points, they ran out of numbers defensively, mm -hmm. 
they just looked a bit all at sea. Yeah, you've got, they're going to have to control the game against Wales. Mm. They can't give Wales lots of great ball. It, you know, they're too dangerous. Yeah. Um, Italy's tries were really well worked. Yeah, they were. But there's yeah. no doubt that Wales could do that as well. Yeah, 100%. So anyway, yeah. it's going to be a cracker, guys. I really enjoyed Ooh. that one. Ooh. Scrum half. Go. Scrum half. If Ben Young's oh, is yes. out, who are you going for? Well, Ben Young's will be out. I think he's definitely yeah, out yeah. for at least a game. That was nasty. I hope he gets well soon. Yeah. Um, Do you think they'll go, go on. Wigglesworth? Yeah. Easy. Quite a, a reliable replacement. Uh -huh. Will they go for Velikot? Right. Or is he too young? Uh -huh. Or will Rob they go for Robson? Robson. Um, it doesn't seem to be in favour because he's no. not really been mentioned. Well, we mentioned this last week that we thought it was a mistake not mm. having three scrum halves in there. Plenty yep. of comments saying, no, it's fine, but... I think it is a mistake. It is now. <laughs> now they literally they literally got on the phone as soon as that game finished and said to whoever it is, come up here. Yeah. I'm I'll be made a fool if this is wrong as it comes out today. I think Wigglesworth is the man who's gonna come straight in. Yeah. Because if you're gonna bring someone straight into a squad without any prep, mm. he's played for England before, he's super clever, he's got a nice basic uh, yeah. um, uh, skill set. I think he'd slot in a much easier than the other guys. So I think it'd be Wigglesworth. Do you think you're missing a trick? Though, with because realistically, Danny Care will start as of next week. Are you missing a trick bringing really? someone like Velikot in to do well, the Danny Care off the bench? I'd bring up, up to, intensity. If it was up to really? me, I'd bring in two scrum halves. Okay. I'd bring in Wigglesworth to play next week, and I'd pr bring in the youngster, okay. probably Velikot, um, to get him into it. Because I, I hope they realise the mistake of having two scrum halves. It's tough on Dan Robson, though, isn't it? Yeah, I just don't <laughs> think they just, they just don't like him for some reason. They just don't for like some him. reason. Anyway. There we go, guys. Please pop your comments below. And yeah. until next time, we will see you then.